Good morning. I would like to thank Elena Solo Gabriel for the invitation to speak to you today. I am deeply honored. I am very sorry I cannot be with you this morning, but I had uh, prior commitments in Washington that I could not change. I can tell you honestly that I'd much rather be in Miami today because it's warmer than uh, Washington. Also, I have many friends in Miami, including many who are in the audience today. And also, I love when I come to Miami going to Calle Ocho to get some Cuban food, some good Cuban food, which I cannot get in Washington. Uh, Elena asked me to speak uh, briefly about the roughly five years of cooperation between the different associations of Cuban American engineers and the Association for the Study of the Cuban Economy. Well, I had uh, worked in over 50 countries in every continent. I had never worked um, on Cuba or Cuban issues, at least as part of my day job. But sometimes in the evenings or weekends, I used to read about Cuba and write papers uh, on many topics, but I also wrote a number of papers on the power and telecommunications sector. A paper, for example, that I did around 2005, 2006, actually became a top, uh, received a top ranking in Google. So if you Google power sector Cuba, it came as number one. So in 2006, um, I was told that I should start uh, working on Cuban issues in my day job. And then I spent maybe up to 20% of my time working on Cuba. The rest of the time I was working in other countries where we had big infrastructure programs, such as Afghanistan, Iraq, Haiti, Liberia, Colombia. In uh, 2007, I organized a session on Cuban infrastructure at the Association for the Study of the Cuban Economy. And uh, three papers were presented. I presented a paper on power, telecommunications, and water. Theo Baboon presented a paper on ports. And uh, Carlos Penin uh, presented a paper on roads. In uh, February 2008, my good friend Theo Baboon um, helped organize at Casa Bacardi an event, uh, he asked me to speak at an event, which was sponsored by the Association of Cuban Engineers, the Cuban American Association of Civil Engineers, and the Colegio de Ingenieros, Agronomos y Azucareros. Basically, Teo told me that the members were interested in contributing their expertise to a potential free Cuba, and wanted my advice on how to go about it. Basically, I suggested that the people who are interested in working in Cuba should start doing research and writing papers in a way uh, doing what I tried to do on my own and that led to be being assigned in my work to start doing more research and work on Cuba. So at the time, at the end of my presentation, I asked the participants, I told the participants that if they were interested I was ready to organize a session at the, Ameri at the Association for the Study of the Cuban Economy on infrastructure, and that I would like to see some panelists, some Cuban-American engineers as panelists. As I mentioned before, um, I organized in August of 2008 a session at the Association for the Study of the Cuban Economy that was called Infrastructure, Power, and Wastewater Sectors. Power, Water, and Wastewater Sectors. There, they were papers were presented by Marilyn Cerejo on the Cuban power sector present situation. Uh, his paper, well, Marilyn Cerejo, many of you know, is one of the persons who has the best information and has done the best analysis of uh, Cuban infrastructure. And then I did a paper that essentially used uh, Manolin's engineering data and I put financial and economic numbers. So I tried to es I estimate <coughs> financial and economic efficiency. 
And then after that, Armando Perez and Elena Solo Gabriel presented a paper on water and sanitation issues in Cuba. And uh, we had two discussions in the session, Jorge Piñón and uh, Maria Borrata. And uh, I, I can say sincerely and honestly that this was one of the best presentations. In fact, a number of people who attended told me that it was the best presentation that they had ever uh, seen at ASCII. And I think part of it is because uh, thanks to the courtesy and the, um, and the hospitality of Armando Perez, we were able to do a dry run at the offices in Miami of Camp Dresser and McKee. And so we rehearsed our presentation and I think because of that and we, we had a change PowerPoints ahead of time. So our, uh, our three papers sort of blended and uh, provided the participants with an excellent, um, with an excellent uh, set of papers. And uh, from then on, uh, always the Cuban American engineers have excelled in the uh, different uh, sessions they have organized at ASCII. Thank you, Juan, for the video. Uh, that really provides a, a synopsis on how uh, the whole effort got started and eventually we got to this uh, student challenge, the Cuban Infrastructure Challenge. As we would mentioned previously, uh, Juan is available to take a couple of questions. He's on the phone. Um, so feel free if anyone has any questions for Juan. I think Dr. Solo's setting up the, uh, the audio back there. Fantastic. Thank you very much, Juan, for your, for your contribution. Any questions? Uh, any questions from the audience for Juan, Armando? Uh, good morning, Juan. This is Armando. Pérez. One second. Oops. Okay. Can you hear me? Yes. Yes. Okay. Uh, I'm Armando Pérez. I'm from Cuba. Uh, I'm just curious to see if you had any thoughts on what else we could be doing besides what, what we're already doing in terms of uh, activities, additional activities that we could do internally within our organizations or perhaps in cooperation with ASCII or with others? I know that's a broad question. Maybe you want to think about it a little while and uh, give us more details later, but if you have any thoughts offhand, we would appreciate them. Fantastic, Juan. Thank you. Okay, but before beginning the student presentations today, uh, Christina is going to go ahead and briefly describe the premise of the competition for those of you who, who may not be familiar with, with the structure of the competition, what it entails, what the students have done. Um, and she's going to go ahead and uh, introduce our distinguished panel, our blue ribbon uh, judges here, and, uh, and call up after the fact, call up the first presenting team so we could get the presentations underway. Christina. Christina. 